Okay, folks, this is Comet Ison. We've had some uh, debate and some controversy about whether this is or is not Comet Ison, but I can assure you when you have $119,000 to buy your own high-powered digital telescope, then you can talk shit, too. So, anyway, uh, we're looking at inbound here. Um, the image appears to be slightly distorted. I'm not sure why. It could be because it is still quite some distance from us, but uh, we are tracking inbound. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's headed straight for the sun. Kind of interesting. But, um, I guess that's what comments do. Um, don't know what else to say about this other than, um, it's going to be beautiful when it gets here. I don't believe it's going to be doom and gloom. I think it's going to be... Uh, celebration of lights in the nighttime sky and <clears throat> hopefully there won't be too many clouds for uh, people to be able to see it because it will be late November um, and through through December so and as you know it, I mean it can be raining or snowing or wherever depending on where you're where you're living so um, that's all I can tell you at this point um, I know what it is, and um, I don't have any question of that. It's just a matter of now of when and where. So, like I said, we're tracking Comet Ison as it comes in, and uh, we hope that all of you can really enjoy this comet this year, and that it ends up being a really beautiful thing. I doubt if it's going to be 15 times brighter than the sun. It doesn't look like it's losing 51 tons of uh, material every minute as it comes in and it's supposed to lose 10% of its mass as it goes around the sun so I guess we'll just have to wait and see but for now this is uh, Rob Spencer from the Spencer Space Program and I am reporting to you here from a remote location in Northern California where we are observing Comet Ison on its inbound path to Earth so thank you for watching the video, and hope you all have a wonderful and blessed evening and lives. Peace!